Okay, um, let's tonight, let's go to Psalm 92, please. Psalm chapter 92, and we're going to be a little bit uh, jumping around, but mostly in the book of Psalms on our Thanksgiving service. We had a missionary here, well, he was a missionary to Ethiopia Sunday, Brother Downs and Mrs. Downs and their family, and, uh, you know, when people come in, I, you know, I mean, they're welcome, and I'm glad to hear, but I don't, you know, if I don't know them, you know, I just don't want to say too much, and, um, but they seem like a really, really good family, so uh, they, they, they'd like to start churches in uh, the D.C. area. And emphasize, uh, you know, start with Ethiopians um, because you can, there are many languages, but he, he was a missionary there for uh, 17 years. And um, so their, their heart is with them. And, um, you know, but uh, I like his philosophy. He says, we'll start with the Ethiopians and the ones that know my, I know their language, but, you know, we just want to reach everybody we can. And I was like, yep, amen. Um, that's good. That's good. So, um, so Lord willing, we might have them back in sometime, and uh, and support them. I like I like supporting people that are close that we can go up there and help them out and do things, and that'll be a blessing. So, uh, okay, Psalm chapter ninety-two, Psalm chapter ninety-two, and verse one, verse one. It's a great verse. Psalm chapter ninety-two, verse one. It says, it is a, what, good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Let's pray. Father, we do love you, and God, thank you for the many blessings that you shed upon us. And uh, Lord, it really would be hard to count them all, but it's, it's good to try and good to do it regularly. Uh, Lord, we're glad we could be here tonight. We do pray for uh, those that are uh, still sick and think of Brother uh, Bruce and Avic and Lord, just uh, help them and also as they are just preparing for their move and everything. But God, thank you that we could be here. And uh, Lord, we ask for your blessing on our uh, service tonight and uh, God, that it would honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, it is a, what? It is a good thing to do what? To give thanks to who? To the Lord, okay? So, how many of y'all really believe that? Okay, I'm looking at you. Keep your hand up. You believe it. Truly believe it. Okay, good, good. Okay, Brother Tim, believe it? Okay. All right, so um, do you do it? Do you do it? You know, we work on that, and I'm not going to ask you if you did it today and all that, but uh, if you haven't done it today, um, you, 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 uh, you know, you, ought, you, should, you and I should work on doing this every day. Uh, if God is good to us, if he's good every day, and it's a good thing to do, we should give thanks daily, amen, just like we should confess our sins daily. If, you, if you're a sinner every day, then you ought to confess your sin every day, and if God's been good to you every day, then we should give him thanks, amen. So, um, I'd like us to do this tonight as a church, to give God thanks. Um, take your Bible, if you would please turn to Psalm chapter 50, Psalm chapter 50. Now, we have people that I would consider regular participators. In other words, if I ask people to, to raise their hand and say something, there are some people that, that do it regularly, and I praise the Lord for that. Um, but some people never do it. Never, 
Never, ever. And I know why, because you're shy. Okay? But tonight, that doesn't count. Nobody's shy tonight. You're just with your family, okay? I've heard you not in the crowd, and you can talk, okay? So uh, I'd like you to think about that tonight. Then I'll give you some verses to think about. And um, this is not a pressure thing for me, but let's just... Let's, let's try to give God glory. Amen? All right. So um, a couple things. Uh, in Psalm chapter 50, uh, verse, verse 14. We're just going to read a verse here and there. It says, what's the first word? Offer unto God what? Thanksgiving. And pay thy what? Vows. Unto the Most High. Uh, You know, we owe him. We owe him. We owe him thanksgiving. And uh, if you're not thanking the Lord, then you're in debt. You you need to catch up and catch up on some thanksgiving to God. Uh, So um, we owe him. And there are many verses like this that we could look at, but we, we should give God thanksgiving. You know, what if you, uh, what if you rescued somebody, uh, you know, rescued them and uh, saved their life and, and uh, you know, risked your own life and did, did all that, and you saved their life, and when you got them up, you got them back to safety, they just walked away. Uh, you know, you think, huh, well, you didn't do it for the thanks, but it would have been good to give thanks to somebody that saved your life, right? Um, it's good for us to give thanks to God after all that he's done. Okay, so, um, turn to Psalm chapter 116, please. Psalm chapter 116. Psalm chapter 116, it is thought that Psalm chapter 116 was written after they came back, uh, after they were delivered, if you will, from Babylon and went back to their homeland. Um, But look at verse 17. Verse 17. It says, I will offer to thee the sacrifice sacrifice of thanksgiving. So let's say that. I will offer unto thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. I will call upon the name of the Lord. What is sacrifice? Think about that. He says, I I will offer to God a sacrifice. The sacrifice is what? Girls on the front row? What's What's the sacrifice? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. I didn't know you weren't listening. I thought you were listening. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, what, is the, what is the sacrifice? Brother Green. Okay. What does the verse say? Thanksgiving. Okay. For salvation and many other things. So, girls, what is the sacrifice? Okay. You're probably saying it. I couldn't hear you. That's all. Um, Offer to God the sacrifice of thanksgiving. So let me ask you this. What, do you, what is a sacrifice? What is a sacrifice? What do you think of when you think of sacrifice? Old Testament or today? What is a sacrifice? Somebody, you got to talk to me tonight. I'm not an evangelist with trick questions, okay? Huh? 
Okay. Okay, that which is due to God, all right, good, good. Yes, sir. That which requires something. It's not just mm. something. Okay, put those two together. Something that that we should do to God, and it's it's a it's going to require something. There's a cost to it, correct? Okay. Hayden. Giving up something. I was scared to call on you, but that was good, okay? Okay? Giving up something. Very good. Okay? So you guys have the idea. And you guys sacrifice. So you know what that means. So let's go back to the offering. The offering is what? Praise. And thanksgiving. So how could that be a what? A sacrifice. How can praise and thanksgiving be a sacrifice? Um, okay. Let's, let's look at another verse. You, can, you don't have to keep your place there, but I want you to keep that thought. Okay. Romans chapter 17, 16. Romans chapter 6, verse 17. Okay. I, was, I said it backwards. Okay. Good call, though, Barney. Romans chapter 6, verse 17. So, uh, again, if they were coming back from Babylon and, and um, you know, they're being delivered and coming back to their homeland and rebuilding their city, they're thanking God. And they said, I'm going to offer you a sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice is something that costs you. I would say... If you've ever sacrificed, normally, normally, if you're like me, maybe you're not, and you just do it, but normally God starts saying, hey, how about that? And you just kind of ignore it. Like, you know, you just kind of look the other way, and God starts, hey, um, how about giving me that? And then after, you know, then you kind of start wrestling with it and say, no, oh, you know. And, and then after a while, you finally come around and say, okay, Lord. And you surrender that whatever it was he wanted. So you offer it to the Lord. And you give him something that means a lot to you. It wasn't easy to do. It cost you something, something uh, like Abraham, his son, that was a, a sacrifice. It was, wasn't easy to do, but it was the right thing to do. It was the good thing to do. And that pleases the Lord. So how can praise be a sacrifice? Okay, um, but we should do it in uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 17, it says, But God be thanked, but God be thanked, that ye were servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that, from the, uh, that form of doctrine which was delivered unto you, and you were saved. I mean, if, if there was nothing else, If there was nothing else, uh, we should rejoice in that, that our names are written in heaven. You remember when Jesus was with the disciples and, you know, the casting out demon thing, and they were all excited about that. And Jesus said, rejoice not that the demons are subject to you, but rejoice, what? That your names are written in heaven. That is the that is the number one thing. That's the that's the number one thing that we can rejoice that our names are written in heaven. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord, um, and 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 um, we believe that you said you did, or you lied in church two days before Thanksgiving. I hope you didn't do that. Okay. 
So he said, I will, uh, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Something that is maybe not easy to do. Something that will cost me. Something I want to do, but it's sometimes hard to do. Um, I believe what he's talking about here, when he said, I will call upon the name of the Lord, in verse 17, he's talking about public thanks to God. Public thanks to God. God be thanked. We should thank God publicly. Now, you should do it privately. But we should take opportunity to thank God publicly. And the easiest, you know, just like we tell somebody that gets saved and they they ought to confess Christ as their Savior and confess Him before men. You know, and I tell people, I said, now, there's lots of ways you can do that, Mr. New, new, New Convert. You could get a bullhorn and put it on top of your car and ride around the neighborhood and say, hey, everybody, I got saved. And I said, that would be great. I said, you could go to Walmart and stand on the counter and and, uh, with your mask on say, hey, I got saved. I said, that would be great. I said, any way you do it's great. I said, but that's a, most people aren't ready for that. I said, do you know the easiest place to do that? And the best place to do that is to come to Patuxent Baptist Church. Amen. And at Patuxent Baptist Church, be with people that have already trusted Christ as their Savior, that, that have already done exactly what you just did. And then all you have to do is stand up and we'll let folks know that you got saved. And I guarantee you everybody will be excited you did. Amen. Right here. Do you know the easiest place to praise the Lord? Now, you could do it at work, and you should. You could do it uh, um, at a family gathering with all your lost cousins, and you should. You could do it anywhere, but you know the easiest place and the best, I think the best place to do it is right here at Patuxent Baptist Church. And I would say if you're too shy to do it here, then chances are you probably don't do it publicly anywhere else. Right? Why can't we do it here? Why can't we just give God thanks here? Don't don't leave it on somebody else to do. Well, we need three or four praises and... I know brother so-and-so will say it, nor sister so-and-so. Hey, how about you? How about you? Um, let's take our Bible, turn to Psalm chapter 107. Okay, let, let me just do this real quick. We're coming up on Thanksgiving, I hope... You've been thinking about that. You know, somebody told me, said, Pastor Connor, I couldn't come tonight. I got to work and I really wanted to be there. I said, hey, listen, why don't you just be between now and Thanksgiving or maybe on Thanksgiving Day, why don't you just get alone with God somewhere at least and, and just think of things to thank him for and praise him for. Amen. Brother Lewis, you still do that? Okay. Put you on the spot. I'm sorry. You're going to do it now, right? Uh, but he, he said he gets away for a while. Thanksgiving Day. Okay. And just goes in the woods or something and just praises God. Amen. We ought to do that and take inventory and think about it. Um, so who could just, who would like to just thank God publicly just right now? It doesn't have to be, it's all big stuff. If God's in it, it's all big stuff. Hey, I'm breathing today. If I'm on this side of the grass, it's a good day. Amen? Amen. Mrs. Jackson. 
Amen. 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 Brother Tim. Amen. 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 And Brother Dye told me you're making everybody else nervous. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> no, amen. Okay, now let me ask you this. Somebody who's never done it, would you do it? Never done it here. Is there anybody willing to do it that's never gave a praise? Lisa. Amen. Amen. And we do. Man, I'll tell you what, I, I do. Praise him for that. Anybody else that's never done it? Brother Green. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. One, Brother Kyle. For what? I'm sorry. Amen. And they went through some skinny times. Amen. I mean, he's always had a job and, and he went through some good times, but there was there were some skinny times there. And uh, and I remember I didn't ask them, but I found out and I think brother I, I talked to Brother Kyle about it. They never ever missed their missions or tithe. They were always faithful. Amen. That's good. Anybody else that never has done Kelly. Um, Bible so Bible college. Amen. Praise the Lord. I like this. This is good. You never have Jack. Okay, amen. <laughs> I'm talking about ever, okay? <laughs> amen. 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 Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Your family. Amen. That was Brianna. I don't know if you need that, okay? Amen. Good. Yes. Amen. Amen. They must have good parents. <laughs> or they want something. Amen. <laughs> Hayden. Amen. Very good. Praise the Lord. So public thanks. I tell you my I tell you why I you know I was thinking about um it was a Sunday. We were, we were having folks give their testimonies and not, they were telling about the situation, you know, what it was like or what was going on when they got saved. And I tell you what, I, I really enjoyed that. I really, really did. And um, that's why we're doing this, okay? Because uh, I want to I wanna hear from you and I think God wants to hear from you. That's a sacrifice for you to, for you to do that, Kelly. If you've never done it, and, you know, it's one of the, you ever sit there and think, man, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. And then, then it's over, and like, ah. And I think there's lots of people like that, that just, I want to, I want to, I should say this. That's the sacrifice that it's costing you something. It's not easy to do. 
Like this is not what, this is not what I want to do, but I want to do this for the Lord. I want to give him this, this sacrifice. It's not easy for me to do this and give it to him. And every praise to God is good. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, when you sacrifice, um, the first time you give to a missions or your building or your first missions commitment, that's a sacrifice. But the more you do it, the easier it gets to give it. And it'll be the same way with praise and praise to God and praise publicly. Is if you if you do it, it'll get it'll become more habit. Psalm chapter 107. Have we read that yet? Verse 22. Let them sacrifice. There it is again. The sacrifices of thanksgiving. And declare his works. With rejoicing. So. Somebody. Thank God publicly. For something God's done. For you or just something he's done. And you'll just thank him publicly. Brother Jackson. Amen. Amen. Megan. Amen. I'm thankful too. Amen. Yes, sir. Brother Walter. Amen. That's huge. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just thank him publicly. Yes, ma'am. Amen. I was sharing that with somebody recently. Amen. Brother Ray? Amen. Brendan? Okay. Okay, you can go ahead and get a mic if you want. I didn't even think of that. If you're listening online, it's all been negative, so you didn't you didn't miss anything, okay? All right. Uh, amen. Amen. Okay. Anybody that's never thanked God publicly, want to thank God for something He's done? Yes, ma'am. I'm thankful for the house that God provided us for our family. Amen. And for the second pregnancy that I've made it to nine months so far. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody else. Brother Efren. I just want to thank God for... Uh, Still having a job in spite of uh, the things going on at work and uh, still protecting me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thankful that I still got this job and uh, praying that uh, it keeps on protecting me. Amen. You know, it's easy to just go day to day, just take things for granted that, that you know, to thank God for a big thing is wonderful and not forget it. 
but just day-to-day -day provision and God taking care of us and our kids and our house and our job and amen. Okay, Brother Steenrod. Yeah, the Lord gave me a wife last Friday. I was able to say we had her 55 years. Amen. 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 Scary for a minute there. <laughs> Give me a wife last week. Okay. Amen. Amen. 55 years. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jacob. If we could use the mic so the folks on, online can hear it. Um, I had a test that I was pretty worried, at, worried about for a while, and I got told yesterday that I passed it. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Amen. You're saving it for tonight. Okay. Praise the Lord. So you got the job? Okay. Then we'll hold back. Okay. Amen. All right. Um, Bella? And thank you for Amen. the church. Amen. Uh, Leanne down front here. I'm thankful for my hearing. Yeah. 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 Amen. For her hearing. Yeah. That was, and I'm glad to be reminded of these things. And it's good for us to rehearse them. Amen. Something that God has done publicly to thank God. Uh, Psalm chapter 26, Psalm chapter 26. It's a sacrifice, and it's uh, good to understand this. Psalm chapter 26, in verse 6. David says, I will wash my hands in innocency. In other words, I'm, when I come to God, I'm going to come clean. And really, if we're truly thankful to the Lord, we'll be clean. We'll be clean. We'll have our hearts clean. Because that's what a Christian can do. Nobody else can do that but a Christian. That's what he desires so he said, I will wash my hands in innocency, so will I compass thine altar. I'm going to be all over it. O oh Lord, that I may publish with the voice of what? Thanksgiving. And tell of thy wondrous works. Tell of thy wondrous works. Anybody else? Brother Jackson? I'm thankful to God that we have this confidence that in spite of what's going on in the world around us, he's still on the throne Amen. and he's still in control. Amen. Amen. Do you know what? We could even thank him for this. If we want to get real fanatical. But it's true. If he's in control and, and all things work together for good to them that love God, then this is good. Amen. This is good. Brother Mike? Thank God for the uh, technology that we have, like even right now, to be able to communicate, to, to broadcast to those who cannot be here uh, for one reason or another. And for the technology that we have in today's world, to be able to communicate with friends and family. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's been able to see his mom almost every day, Amen. even though he hasn't been able to be with her Praise through the, the technology. Yep, and that is wonderful. Just a few years ago, we couldn't have done that. Praise the Lord. Anybody else want to 
Thank God for his wondrous works. Anybody else? Brother Green? Amen. Taking care of your mother. Amen. All right, Psalm chapter 95. Psalm chapter 95. I'm going to crank it up a little bit. Psalm chapter 95. Ready? Verse 2. Verse 2. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalm. You know what that is? Singing. Singing. Let me at least say this. That's why you should sing in church. I mean, at the very least... Sing when your church is singing. And I know, uh, you know, it's, you know, we can, and I'm not saying it's a sin to talk once in a while or do something or something strikes you funny. And, but really, generally when you're in church and it's singing time, that's part of your worship. And that's part of your praise to him. Look at the words, think about the words, and sing to God. Okay. Um, anybody want to sing? Brother Tim? You know what, if most of us, um, as far as I know, most of us can't sing like the singers sing. But this is for all of us. So I'm not saying you need to have to break out in song in front of everybody all the time. But it's not wrong. It's really not wrong. In fact, it's wonderful. Yep, it's right there in the verse. Joyful noise. God made your voice. If he wanted you to sing different, then he would have made you that way. So he wants you to sing with that voice that you have. So if, if, if you can't do, you could do it, but you're just... You're not ready to give that one to God. But at least do it when, when the church is singing, when your family's singing. That's why I want the music to be loud and everything to be loud so you can just join in. Amen? Amen. Just join in. Good. Every day, Brother Mike will text me. Every morning, he'll text me a part of a song. And then I text back another part of the song. Every day we do that. And we sing together through text. Amen? Amen. I enjoy it. I love it. Because he sends me songs I've never heard before. Like I got to go on Google. And then I go to YouTube to hear it. It's like I've never heard that song. You thought I knew them all, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> I know most of them, but there's a, there's a couple every now and then. I'm like, I never heard it. But then I, I, I'm i blessed by a new song. Anybody else want to sing? Don't.
don't point to somebody else. How about just the chorus, anybody? Just a, just a little ditty. Amen. Amen. Offer that to God. If you don't sing on your own, just, just do it once in a while. You, you'll be surprised what that will do for your heart to the Lord. Um, just get an old hymn book, not one of ours, okay? Uh, I'll give you one. I have a couple extra old ones. and Just, just sing to the Lord. Just sing to the Lord. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's move on. Okay. Going, going, Brother Green. Amen. That was great. You know what that was? A sacrifice. That was a sacrifice. Um... Psalm 147. Psalm 147. Psalm 147. And verse 7. Verse 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving... Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. You know what God wants us to praise him with? Instruments. Instruments. Uh, Megan, if you'd come up, please. I I had to ask her to do this because I didn't know if anybody else would. Um, But I wanted to have at least one thing ready. Okay. And she said, Pastor, I haven't been practicing. And I'm not ready. I said, that's even better. Because it's a sacrifice. If you get up here and say, oh, I'm practiced and I'm ready and I'm good. That's not a sacrifice. What are you going to play? Great is thy faithfulness.
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Megan. You know what? And, and uh, especially somebody when they're new, come up here to, to play, it's a huge sacrifice. They're nervous. They're nervous about being in front of their own family. And that's natural. But it's a sacrifice. They want to do it for God. Anybody else want to play? I mean, not this, but... Anybody? Okay. But let's offer God... Yes, ma'am. Okay. Foot fire. Good. Have you practiced? Okay. Amen. Amen. I just realized she just happened to have her piano book right with her, right? Amen. Thank you, Jess. You know what? Uh, Brother Mike and I have been talking. Um, you know, we're not going to probably have choir for a while, but we've been thinking about um, just having a lot more specials. And uh, so we're going to start after the first of the year. We're going to be here at 5, what time does church start? 5.30? Five, 5 o'clock. And uh, if you want to, because I want to hear it first, but if you would like to share a special, then we'll, you know, you come in, have it approved, and we'll put you on the schedule. But we'd like to have lots of specials. So if you sing or play, uh, let's, let's give God some offerings some sacrifices of thanksgiving. He's due. He's due. We owe it to him. Amen? That's great. Thank you. Uh, Psalm chapter... One hundred. Psalm chapter one hundred. You know, sometimes it might be a sacrifice to offer God thanksgiving when you're going through a hard time. Going through something difficult and you feel like maybe God's not with you. And it might look like things aren't working out right. But you know what God says, and you know in your heart that he's good. You know it's true. So while you're going through this difficult time, and you have tears in your eyes, you can look to God and say, God, I want to give you thanks and give you praise because you're wonderful, and I love you, and I know you love me. That's a sacrifice of praise. Psalm chapter 100 Verse 1 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. That's why I think it's good to sing when you're having your devotions. You come into his, it prepares your heart. 
Come before his presence with singing. That's why we sing before we have church. We come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful. Let's be a thankful people. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. And we know that. And we, can, we have his word on that. Just like Brother Jackson said, it doesn't matter what's going on, God's good. Amen. And we can thank him for it. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. So it was true when this was written. It's true today. Amen. Amen. You know when you say uh, when when you say amen in church, let's give God praise because you're saying that thing you just said. I agree with. Or maybe put your hand up or wave a hanky or I don't know. Jump, go in the back and jump around a little bit. It's okay. We just want to let, we just want to say publicly that we love him, we praise him, Amen. we thank him. Amen. Well, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Let's all stand and let's give thanks.